tell that to the graveyard of WoW clones? That's true, but that's just because, like, WoW is, like, you know, like, that's that's because, like, everyone is still playing WoW. Like, WoW is still there. Like, ain't no, there are not many people still playing StarCraft. Like, I, WoW, you know, StarCraft is not, like, uh, I mean, it is the game to beat in the genre, but, like, no one plays it anymore. Everyone that plays MOBA still plays or everyone that plays a, a sentinel is always prepared. MMO still plays a while. You played it today? Okay, well, some people still play it, of course, but compared to uh, how many the people used to play it, it's uh, it's very little. My team is taking so much damage, holy shit. This might be a rough one. RTS games are not speedy enough for the zoomers. Maybe not. Well, you could always just make one that's speedier then. You could make one where the, you get to the action faster. I'm sure that's doable. I don't know if that's a good idea, boys. Narrator. It was not a good idea. That's a good question. I don't remember myself. Where are mobs at? is almost 10 years old. Feel old yet? Well, I felt old even before that, so I suppose yes. Punisher. 
one does I every time I look away, like this Jaina is always in the most random ass spot ever, dude. What the how is she over there? And then she right after she dies she pings someone else. <laughs> ah, the classic. The classic. My lordy, that guy's in a pretty random place too. Why are you over there, buddy? I feel like we got a bronze team in gold. Millennial born from 1980 to 1990? Surely it's a bigger age range than that. No way. I was born outside of that age range. I'm pretty sure I'm a millennial. Or a year range. Lordy Bajornis. This might help soften the blow of the inevitable outcome of this game. Thank you, Krim. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Thanks for the 26. Inevitable loss, you say? Maybe. Maybe. We are on a damage healer, though. If we can do enough damage, maybe we can change fate. Google says 1981 to 96. Oh, okay, that sounds a little more accurate. Let us make haste. We need defenses here. You identify as a boomer. Probably. Oh god. How does identifying work? I feel like you can identify as as it if you feel like it. Isn't that how it works? Oh my god. Okay, you guys might be right. This might be the inevitable doom. Oh. Oh boy. Oh. Okay, bunker though, bunker. Let's go, Hello Kitty. Okay, okay, oil, slow oil. Okay, I mean, you really just waste bunker there, but at least he lived. Hello Kitty making moves. Any R pressures there? Well, it wouldn't kill them, so. No point pressing it if it doesn't kill them. Feel the wrath of the heavens. Oh, we got one. Bad news is it was a Leo. He's coming back. Yeah, Toronto's auto attack damage is terrible until you get the uh, 
<laughs> infinite damage passive. I mean, it only becomes not terrible because you can infinitely add damage to it, you know? That's usually pretty good. Infinite damage boost. Should have gone for the other guy. Quick, heals Logen so he can't do damage. Can't have this guy beating my damage. No attack speed for you, Zuljin. You want axe? I mean, who doesn't want axe? We always want axe, don't we? Welcome back, Tank. Thanks for the 56. As a millennial fan, do you own any plants? No. Should I? Is that a thing Millennials own? Should I? Should I own plants? Oh, he's not going for me anymore. My wiggling, my wiggling, uh... He got scared of my wiggling. He, he said, screw this, I'm not going for this guy no more. Smart choice. Do you spend all of your disposable income on avocado toast? I do have avocado and bread on my kitchen counter right now and a toast maker. But hey, I make it myself so it's cheaper. You know, you know, at least there's that. Avocado toast is fire. Exposed. Millennial. A great blessing. Anything else on your avocado t toast? Uh, some salt and pepper? That's usually good. Alright, slow and steady. 180, 190, 200, 220, 230, 240, 280, 260. Slow and steady, boys. No, 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 quicker, quicker, it's too slow. No, it reset. All right, let's just stack all over again. Frick. Oh, whatever. They're too close to their base. We gotta wait for them to uh, be farther away, I guess. Dude, he keeps booping me away and then my stacks reset, I'm pissed. Use all, yeah, yeah, I used it once or twice. $20 for that is not fine. What, avocado toast? Yeah, that's insane. As the goal. I wonder how much it costs if you make it yourself. Maybe like two dollars? I feel like it costs like two dollars if you make it yourself. <laughs> it probably costs like ten plus if you if you buy it at a cafe. Pretty insane. Oh, I'm okay with 
this. I am not, I'm not okay with this. Fudge! Who told that guy to press R on me too, man? I didn't think the other one would also press R. Unlucky. Sesame oil, pickled red onion, and a drizzle of garlic chili oil. I mean, that sounds fire. Ain't no way I'm making that myself, though. That's way too much work. That sounds fire, though. Damage is not high enough. Too many enemies clicking R on me. Just trying to ult reset on death. Alt. Her ult doesn't reset on death, I just never used it. Ooh, or are you memeing me? <laughs> Maybe you're memeing me. Saving ult for next hero. I am, I am. Oh my god, that chain stunned me. That guy got stunned for a century. More attack speed. Avocado toast with bacon sounds good. Oh yeah, that is good too. And I mean... I'm always in the entomb. This guy's life goal is just to entomb me or what? I see how it is. So be it. Yeah, the rat of the heavens! I'm dead. Okay, well. I guess this was uh, my life for the greater good kind of game. I've eaten all the ultimates so my team can go ahead and win the game. I thought this was a DPS Toronto game. Turns out it was a tank Toronto game. Oh well, win's a win. Tank Toronto works good as well, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs>